We just paid $190 for an abandoned storage unit that's so full, we can't even open the door. That's it. That's it. That's absolutely it. You think there's something cool in there? We're about to find out. Hello? There's got to be somebody or something in here. I don't even know how to begin to open this door without just pulling out boxes until we're able to get to it, you know? That's like our only option, so. I guess. We got two cut locks, which means this thing was at least attempted to be saved at least once. That's a good thing. A bone. And a sheep! Hey! Yes, I can totally just ride this right out of the facility. It's exactly what I wanted. What? Okay, how are we gonna do this? I didn't really think about the logistics. I just thought a like, unit so full we can't get into it sounds fun. But how to actually get into it? Another story. Because I don't know what's up here. I can pull one box and it goes and crushes my hands. So. Well, the good thing is that the door blocks it. Yeah, in that true. case. So. I'm just gonna pull like that. I'm telling you. Is that an Xbox box? It looks like it's, it's probably that projector actually. But still, projectors are expensive. They can be. Let's see here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. Hey. Did it open it actually? I don't think I opened it, but well, I'm kind of here. What do we got in this big box at least? Oh, is this close? Boo. 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 These are dirty clothes. What about this projector? Is it actually what it's supposed to be in here? Let's see. Yes, it most definitely is. A light blast projector. What is this guy? Like a little DVD player? That is a DVD player. You probably connected this to this to project the screen of this, if I had to make a guess on that. I don't know what that's worth. There's an iron. We have an iron. Now, the fun part is, how do we keep going? Like, look, this table's just floating. Um, let's get the bag out. Let's get the bag out. Okay, that worked very well. I have to say, top 10 strategical decisions right there. <laughs> so this bag is completely stuck in there, so I don't know what to do with it. Somehow, I'm doubting the authenticity of this Thor hammer. There's something about it that just doesn't seem like the real thing. I don't know why. But, uh, man, it's about to show me, huh? I'm supposed yeah. to break my tail. Uh, let's see if we can get this up. Oh, money! What the heck? Money just fell out. <laughs> How did that even happen? Okay, hold on. I just got a trophy. I feel like I just hit a slot machine like in the <laughs> 80s. Like the money just started dumping out. Let's see here. Okay, whoa. I see watches and jewelry and all kinds of stuff. Look, that's just the pillow. A okay. lamp? Okay. So we have a lamp. It's like a slot machine of just I know, random. But look, <laughs> we do have a, what is this? John Paul, couple of watches here. No idea if these can be diamond or not, but hey, that's a good sign. I only paid one ninety for this, so it's not like it's that big of a deal. Right. But look at these little jewelry boxes. Ah, that's empty. Is this one one? Come on. What is this? No, this is not jewelry. This is some type of earbuds. Bluetooth earbuds. Yeah. Who? Oh, never mind. It isn't again. I thought it was the game that that Cracker Barrel the pegs <laughs> that always makes you feel like an idiot. Okay. Well. I don't know any other strategy. Can you walk through walls? I'm incapable. No. I, I mean, I don't see what else we could do. Well, at least we know the police are here. Police involvement here. Let's put that over there. Paw Patrol. And well, these are like the bed, the furniture bed listers. Look, what is that? Oh, there's some type of piece of jewelry that's actually in there. Like a bracelet of some sort, it looks like. We're going in the right direction. Yeah. But look at all this broken glass. No good here. No good here. Let's put that in this iron box. But look at all the money that just came falling out. I mean, I do see at least one quarter. I got a little bit of change here. That's got to be a solid... No, I was about to say a solid dollar. It's not quite, but you know, it's money. Man, this storage unit is full of cars, a police car, and a train. Who would have thought that would be in a 5x5? Five five. And a bucket. All right, let's see. I can't move that. I got to go in. I'm going in, all right? Uh -oh. If I don't come back from this, Make sure you like the video and subscribe because this is my legacy here. No! <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Please be careful. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can figure out what's holding this door. But I think I see it. It's this right here. It's this stupid freaking kid's toy. If I can get this out the way, I think I can open it. Hold on. Hold on. That'll do it, I think. That. No, it's a carpet now. Okay, I'm getting out. Get your head out of here. Woo, that was bad. 
that'll, oh my gosh. Okay, this guy's trying to kill me. Let's see if that'll do enough to get this thing up. No, still can't get it yet. Come on, what is doing it? Okay, we got metal pans. We got that. We almost had my head. I hope I got that. We got an air fryer. Okay, that's actually, looks like it's probably a new air fryer. Yeah. Looks like everything's still wrapped up and everything. So. Air fryer, good stuff, if it still works, because it did just kind of almost kill me, so right. we'll see. What about this? I don't even have an idea what this it's is. Train track. For. Is it train tracks? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can tell from the bottom. Look at that. Train track, train. Maybe. Yeah, for that. Okay, what about this Christmas tree? Let's get this out of the way, if it's a Christmas tree. Yes, it is. I just see so much stuff in there, and I don't know <laughs> how to get to it. Um, it's this, see this carpet right here? That is what's holding the door shut, but I can't move it back in order to open the door. So it's like, it's kind of awkward right now. I wonder if I can bend this down some. Ah. Hey, hey, we you go. got we it right open. <laughs> Good job, okay. give me a high five, give me Woo! a high five. We did it, we did. I mean, I almost, you did I almost it. lost myself, but hey, you did. we're in here. All right, Whoa. Let, me, let me move. I see a football in a case. Ooh. Let's see. Hold on. What is this one? Hey. Hey, now. It's signed. Is it? Oh, nice. By I don't who? know who that is. I don't know. Number. It just says, all I can break out is a 93. Huh. I can't tell who that is. National Football League. It doesn't even say a team or nothing. And that tag just is the Wilson tag. So I don't know, but I feel like that's going to be worth something. Turns out that it wasn't 93. It was actually number 43 of the Pittsburgh Steelers, Troy Palomalu. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And the average signed football by him is going for 140 bucks on eBay. Okay, I just rewatched that clip on the camera. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was about two inches away from being smushed. I heard it, but I seen it. I mean, two inches that way that would have went right on my head isn't this ironic we just bought this like a week ago maybe that's kind of funny <laughs> there's that and now we have a pen pen another air fryer it looks like definitely an air fryer but this one unfortunately this one's not new that one's been used so eh, maybe five bucks or so i got this thing full of blankets <laughs> not important then we got a couple hats and ties okay dress clothes <laughs> things like that Oh, this dude has some big feet. He might actually be my size. Are these 15s? What do you think? I say... Ooh, they stink. Uh, 14. Exactly right. <laughs> I was about to say these would be 15 because they're probably the ugliest pair of Nikes I've ever laid my eye on. Definitely but LeBron. So. Whatever they are. They're, no. But they're size 14. All right, let's look at some of these dress shoes here. Eh, Stacy Adams, but I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's powder or mold or oh, what. No. So let's put it over there. Then, these are clean. Those are pretty clean. Yeah, those are a lot better than the other ones. So. Do you need dress shoes? I don't need dress shoes. <laughs> I've had one pair of dress shoes for the past like 10 years and I think I've worn them twice. <laughs> I don't wear dress shoes. So we got this. Let's get out the little, I'll wear this though. A bow, tie. A bow tie on it. I like it, your colors. Thank you. Now let's get this out and I'm gonna use this to put stuff on. Is there stuff on that bottom level? There is something in the second level. Oh, uh, what is that? Uh, come here. Oh, a giant. <laughs> Speaker of some sort, huh? Let me say Atlee Alltech Lansing. Alltech Lansing, okay. That's a pretty big speaker. It has a number on the bottom of it right there. So oh, speakers right. are usually hit or miss. Maybe twenty dollars, maybe one hundred fifty. Who knows? <laughs> until later. But now we got a gross table to put our stuff on. Speaking of gross, do you want a stranger's foot thing? No. Sure. <laughs> yes. Sure? Stop. Stop. Fine. If you say so. <laughs> I will. Hey, look. Is this? Oh, never mind. This is something else. What is this? I thought this was the box for the speaker we just found. It is, the same brand. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's full of crap. Oh, it's their paperwork box. They always gotta have one, huh? Oh look, my dude's address and his name. Now I'm gonna look at everything I wanna see. <laughs> what is this right here? Noticed regarding the state? Mm, okay, I don't know. <laughs> we'll look into it. We'll look into it. Papers, papers. Oh, there's some stuff under the papers. Like markers and a little yeah. Bible. Bible. Yeah. And a razor. Oh, look. Dude's ID. Now I know for sure. Yeah, he was almost my height, too. Six foot two. That's why he has size 14 shoes. So, doesn't surprise me. Let's set this right here. I'm going to put this ID in my pocket because I'm nosy. Okay. You want a ball? I'm not um, going to make I don't want to touch again. it. <laughs> Let's see. Good. Well, I thought that was going to be a box. I was like, why is that so light? <laughs> that. Come here, you. <sighs> 
that was heavier than I thought. What about this purse? Ooh, these are a lot of personal pictures and things like that. And yeah, we'll probably make sure we just leave this one behind so they can get it All back. All personal stuff. Is it? No, it's not. Oh, not that. No. Hey, that's the same autograph. Is it? Yeah. All right. No? Yeah, it is. Look. It's Steelers. Well, it looks like the same autograph, just a different number, right? Oh. Was it this? 43? I don't remember. I remember it was 93 or 43. But look here. Here's some more Steeler stuff. Tori Palomalu, I remember that guy. Okay, so this right here is coming with us, but all the personal stuff, the pictures, the certificates, all that, of course, we'll make sure we get it back to them. Move all the pictures out the way in the actual big box, unfortunately, it's pretty much exclusively closed all the way down. So here is the door stopping culprit right here, this carpet. Nothing inside there, maybe five bucks or something like that. Let's see if there's anything in this dresser. Can this TV stand support this dresser? Oh. That's the question here. We shall see. It's already wobbling, so. Yeah. But. Barely. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, there, I see a tablet. There is a tablet. Samsung. There is a nice iPhone. It's, oh, I was about to say, never mind. I was about to say it's not cracked, but iPhones come cracked, unfortunately. There's that. Uh, I, I want to go in here. There's stuff in here for sure. What's the, oh, I saw money signs. I'm making sure it wasn't <laughs> money wrapped up. Well, look in here. What, what the heck is this? I, I don't know. But a bunch of really random crap. There's a whole bunch of change back here. So there is, okay, there's actually quarters in this one. I mean, look at this. See all that? Yeah. So, I mean, we got a solid dollar. <laughs> Maybe <At two>. $2. <laughs> I'd say closer to $2. I'm going to get that out in a second. Let's go to the second drawer. Kind of the same stuff. Ooh. A scope, okay, now you're speaking my language. Ah! Oh. Boo. Boo, okay. Maybe ammo? It. 223 ammo, let's see. Ooh, there we go. Partially full, 223 round. What about this? Oh, these are, what, what, where's the, okay, there it is, nine millimeter, right there. This is a uh, different kind of ammo. Protection. It, yeah, we'll just say it's protection. That's what the ammo we'll goes to, it's protection. Yeah, we'll <laughs> say that, skull candy. <laughs> Headphones. Is this more ammo? More two, two, three. This feels like a um, full, full box. Oh yeah, to the collection. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, I've been doing this for five years, and I've never sold one bullet that I found in a unit. It's all mine. So I was just moving the box with the empty red dot side because I was like, it still feels like it has weight to it. So I took the styrofoam out, and it's not the red dot, but we do have about ten probably rounds. Looks like um nine millimeter. If I had to guess, yeah, nine millimeter Luger in there. So more ammo for us. This little bag here looks like kids toys, but once I find ammo, I go into ultra search mode. Mm -hmm. Let's move the balls. Eh. Mag, what is that card? That is chair's not a gift card in there. What is this? Arcade card, meh. Other than that, yeah, it's junk. What about in here? Also, yeah, nothing in there. This bag box thingy here, gas mask, let's see. Uh, okay, something tells me this isn't about like surviving a gas tag. This is about, you know, <laughs> yeah. something else, something else. What's this right here? This looks like something, oh, Commonwealth of Virginia Certificate of Live Birth. This is the dude's name, so I guess that should go back with the other stuff. Same with a lot of this paperwork, huh? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a lot of this like does. It here. Graduation hats. What, what is that? Nothing. Yeah, from what I'm seeing here, this looks like a bunch of personal stuff that should just be returned. The culprit carpet little brother here. <laughs> Get over there. Another couple dollars here. Let's go to this. This looks like kitchen stuff, but let's just dig around a little bit. Yeah, there's a cutting board. There's some pans and pots. There's uh, just four pieces. I guess that's all you need if you live alone. Uh, Unfortunately, this is all just really random kitchen stuff. This is kind of just to throw out for a bucket piece, probably get five or ten bucks for everything. This corner here looks like pretty much all kitchen stuff. Oh, look. Blues Clues. A Blues Clues guitar. Slippery soap, right? Is that his name? Yeah. Name? Slippery then soap. Then shovel and pail and tickety tock. Or tickety tock. Tick tickety tock. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember. I still remember. It's been a while, but you know. This looks like all kids stuff. I wish they would let us leave this kind of stuff behind because it's only going to be worth like $5 to us, but they won't let us and they'll ban us if I leave it behind. So unfortunately, we're going to take it and try to get like five bucks for it. This tote here, ah, that's all closed again, unfortunately. What about the drawers? Are they closed? Oh, uh, looks like kids clothes again. I wish I could just leave this stuff. I'd rather them get it back, but they won't let me. And uh, what is that? Just one sweater. 